Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. And this movie review is going to be on Ant-Man and the Wasp. And it stars Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, Michael Pena, Judy Greer, Bobby Cannavale, uh, T.I., Randall Park, Michelle Pfeiffer, Hannah John Kamen, I think that's how you pronounce uh, her name, Lawrence Fishburne, and Michael Douglas. And... This, of course, this is a sequel to the uh, the first Ant-Man film, which came out in 2015. The film was directed by Peyton Reed, who also directed the uh, the first film. And uh, I really enjoyed the first Ant-Man film when it came out. I saw it in the theater, and uh, theater experience, you know, wasn't you know that good. I had a terrible uh, experience when uh, I was seeing the film in the theater. Uh, apparently, you know, some woman bought, you know, her baby in there and the baby was crying like almost, you know, I think it was like an hour already into the film. And, uh, you know, I tried to, uh, you know, forget all that while watching the film and, uh, it was really enjoyable. It was a really enjoyable film. Uh, the first Ant-Man really, uh, enjoyed it. So, uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, I watched it today. And I gotta say, I enjoyed the film. I thought it was a fun uh, film, just like uh, the first movie. But you know, it's not as good. It's not as good as the first film, but it's still you know fun. Still a fun film. It's it's an enjoyable. Uh, it's an enjoyable sequel. And uh, basically, what the movie's about is it's about uh, Scott Lang, aka Ant Man, played by Paul Rudd, and He's on his last days of house arrest, uh, which, you know, he's on house arrest, you know, after the uh, the events of what happened, you know, in uh, Civil War, in Captain America Civil War. And, you know, he sees his daughter, you know, his daughter comes over. So he gets to see, he gets to see uh, his daughter. And uh, he gets these, uh, he gets this vision of Hank Pym's wife. And Hank Pym, of course, is played by Michael Douglas. So, you know, Paul Rudd gets, you know, this vision of uh, Hank Pym's wife, who uh, his wife had gone missing and got trapped in the uh, quantum realm. And the quantum realm, if you're familiar with the Ant-Man comics, is a alternate dimension where, you know, space and time cease to exist. And... You know, it's a, uh, you know, the quantum realm is also, you know, uh, it could shrink objects to a subatomic level, to like microscopic, you know, levels. And so, and so, uh, you know, Paul Rudd is seeing these visions of uh, Hank Pym's wife, and he goes to talk to, uh, you know, Michael Douglas, Hank, you know, Hank Pym, Michael Douglas about this. And you know, he goes out to say, "Oh, if you know, maybe we could, maybe we could track her down." And it's just basically them, you know, trying to get to this dimension and get, you know, Hank Pym's wife. And you know, the film also deals uh, with a uh, with a new villain uh, named uh, Ava, uh, aka Ghost, played by uh, Hannah John Kamen. Uh, she is this woman who, you know, could go, we see her, you know, like, go through walls, and she, like, you know, dressed up, you know, a little like Ant-Man, but only in, like, a white uh, suit, and, you know, also she could, you know, face, she could face through objects, and, you know, it's basically, you know, Hank Pym's uh, lab, you know, is being taken by her and being taken by uh, this guy named, uh, you know, Sonny Birch, uh, who was a... Uh, a black market dealer and pretty much that's basically uh what the uh, the plot to the film is about but uh i really enjoyed the film i really uh liked uh paul rudd and evangeline lily uh evangeline lily also plays a uh, hope aka wasp uh who is you know the daughter of uh hank pym and uh i thought her and paul rudd's characters you know they have they have really great chemistry together really enjoyed you know, when they were, you know, on screen and, you know, they're, uh, you know, as Paul Rudd was in his Ant-Man uh, suit and, 
you know, eventually Lily was in her uh, wasp uh, suit. Uh, they had, like I said, they had good chemistry together. Uh, really enjoy, you know, when they would, you know, team up in the film to, you know, take out, you know, these guys, you know, to take out the villain. And uh, I thought, I thought Hannah John Kamen as Ghost. Thought she was a uh, she was a very interesting, uh, very interesting villain. I though although I know in the comics, uh, Ghost is supposed to be a uh, a male uh, villain. But from what I heard, uh, peep, you know, the creative team on this film, uh, they wanted to change it to they wanted to change Ghost to be a uh, to be a female. Uh, because it would be more interesting, and you know, I I agree with the with the other uh, team, with the creative uh, team of the film, you know, about that. Thought you know it was a it was an interesting villain. Uh, of course, you had uh, Randall Park, uh, who plays Jimmy Woo, who was an FBI agent, uh, also uh, Poor Rudd's character's parole officer, where you know, like he would come to like uh, where he would come to uh, Paul Rudd's character's you know apartment to see if you know he's home or not and there's a time you know like uh in the film where you know he, he ends up you know keeping going to his apartment and uh michelle pfeiffer who plays uh jenna van dane uh who is uh you know who is uh michael douglas's character's uh wife in the film uh that's who you know they try to uh they try to rescue uh you know who got lost in the quantum realm so uh michelle pfeiffer you know she she was cool to see here uh playing uh jenna van dane and uh we had lawrence fishburne here lawrence fishburne uh was pretty uh was pretty good in here uh who plays uh uh ghost's uh daughter uh so but so yeah, it was it was a enjoyable cast. Uh, Michael Pena and uh, I thought Michael Pena, I really enjoyed uh, his character Lewis. Uh, he was very funny in the first film. I uh, liked him in this film. Uh, to me, they gave uh, him and uh, Michael Douglas's characters, you know, more to do uh, in this film, uh, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I, I like uh, Michael Pena's character. So, but uh, yeah, I thought the action scenes uh, were really uh, were really cool, uh, very uh, very well uh, very well filmed. Uh, you know, it was very funny. The film was very funny, and uh, you know, I really enjoyed uh, the characters. The characters are all uh, the characters are all really uh, cool and uh, interesting. So yeah, so Ant Man the Wasp. I would uh, I would say check this movie out uh, if you saw the first film uh, you know definitely go check it out uh, like I said it's not as good as the first film but it's still a fun movie it's still a very enjoyable film so uh, definitely uh, definitely check it out uh, if you saw the first film so yes anyways that's it for my review of Ant-Man and the Wasp thank you all for watching I uh, hope you all enjoyed this review. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow night uh, for the Evolution, the WWE Evolution pay-per-view review. Of course, Evolution is tomorrow. Now, not at all hyped for it. Uh, there's only like two matches that I'm looking forward to, and that's you know the uh, the May Young Classic match, the final match. And the NXT Women's Championship match, uh, Shayna Baszler versus uh, Kyrie Sane. Other than those two matches, nothing else I'm looking forward to on this card. I think this card, I think the card for Evolution pretty much sucks. So, uh, so yeah, I'll still do a review, a review on Evolution uh, tomorrow uh, after the show. So yeah, so that's that's something for you all, for you guys to look forward to tomorrow, tomorrow night. So yeah, so until uh, my evolution uh, review, I'll see you all back here tomorrow night with that review.